Hey, it's Matthew McAllister here. I've got a great exercise for you today, which you don't need a guitar for. This is all about building finger strength, independence, and resistance training for these fingers away from your instrument. I need you to find a flat surface. It could be the back of your guitar, it could be a table, a desk, anything like that. Somewhere where you can put your right and left hands flat down on the surface and then we'll go through all these different permutations and combinations of finger movements which will help you develop some independence to those fingers. Okay, so the key is to start with the palms of your hands flat down on a solid surface, such as a table. You could even use the back of your guitar. But the main thing is that at all times, the palms of your hands are flat against that surface. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to try and lift the thumbs and the fingers up from the table whilst the palms still press down gently onto the surface. You can see me lifting my index finger up and down now and I get a bit of resistance against that lift from the fact that my palm is pushing against the table. So this is my right hand and I'm going to lift the thumb, the index, the middle, the ring finger, and then the pinky or fourth finger. I'm going to try the same with my left hand. Thumb, index, middle, ring finger, and pinky finger. As I'm lifting up, I can feel a bit of resistance, especially in that third finger, that ring finger. It's hard to get much clearance from the table whilst that palm is pushing down against. And what I'm doing here is I'm asking each finger to respond individually, lifting up and placing down one at a time. Each finger is now starting to experience a little bit of individual control. I'm isolating it by thinking about each finger independently and then I'm asking it to respond by lifting up and placing back down on the table. Now you can see I'm running between the hands so transitioning from the left to the right hand and backwards and forwards. The next thing I want to do is work in groups to try and enhance this control. So the two thumbs up and down at the same time, the two index, the two middle, the two ring and the two pinky. Trying to do this combination work between the two hands is definitely tricky trying to get both sets of fingers to lift up and put down at exactly the same time in both hands all the time while the palms keep putting pressure onto the surface. That's what creates the resistance. If you allow the palms to come up and the fingers are like this, there's no real resistance to the fingers. What we're trying to do here is to try and train the fingers to move independently of that bit of resistance. Think about when you have a barry down in the guitar and how tricky it is to manipulate the other fingers while one finger is occupying all those strings. Now, this is where it gets tough. Let's try combinations. P and M, I and A, M and C, I and A, P and M. Next hand, going across. So now I'm moving the combinations between both hands, doubling up the fingers, up and down at the same time, And now probably the hardest one is to go between. And go from one side to the other. And back. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those exercises. Remember you can do them anywhere. Sometimes I find myself doing them on trains and planes on the way to concerts. Try them anywhere and try and develop a little bit of that resistance training and mobility for the fingers. See, you don't need a guitar to practice. You can do it anywhere, anytime. See you soon.